this is Trey and welcome to another video. Now today's video I'm going to be showing you how to backflip. Now this video isn't going to be super long because backflips aren't, aren't that hard. Well for me anyway because I've been doing them for about four years now and I've gotten into flips like way more than I used to. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do with a backflip is you need to commit really really hard you can't just back out or whatever you have to fully commit the whole time and i'm going to use my couch because it's kind of like bouncy ish and like plus i've done flips on my couch before so it, it, it doesn't really matter so yeah so what you the first thing you want to do is is you want to squat then throw your arms up and back then once you do that that creates the rotation and then pull into a tuck hold it the whole time and then just flip around, and then when you come to the bottom, hit the ground and land. It's really not that hard. I will demonstrate it right now. Like that. That is a backflip, as simple as I can put it, uh, for my way. But another thing you want to do while you're doing it. All right. So when you're in the tuck, instead of all right. So what some people do is they throw their head out. You don't want to throw your head out. Because if you, if you throw your head out, you will arch and you don't rotate as much. And you will go farther back and hit the wall. I've, do, I've done that before. I've done a backflip and I hit the wall. But that's because I just like choked my head out and stuff. So I'm going to show you what not to do. So I'm going to throw my head out a lot. You ready? Watch this. See how far I went back? And now watch this. Watch when I keep my, my head in. Stay just, I stayed just here, not like all the way back here. But I can't believe I actually just stuck that. I've never stuck it perfectly with my feet just like straight together. So that's cool. Um, let me share a replay of that right now. See how I kept my head in and tucked and threw my arms up? Yeah, that was really cool. So um, the next thing you want to do when you're trying to do a backflip is that you want to, all right, so you know I said when you throw your head back, you go farther. You should only do that when you're on like a diving board because if you keep your head in, you will hit the diving board. But it might make the tuck a little bit better. You just don't want to hit it so you jump far out. So that's how, so the, the, way, I, the way I found out how to do one is that because I did a backflip once and I smacked my head on it and uh, it hurt really bad. We were at like our friend's house, I think. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's another story for another time. But so basically there's five steps. You have to squat, hold down. That, that's one. Two, throw your arms back. Three, keep your head in. Four, jump and then tuck. Five, another six. And then land like this. So six. So ready? So squat one. Throw your arms back two. Head in three. Tuck four. Um, no, hold on. So squat. Throw your arms back. Head in three. Um, four. Jump five. Tuck and land. Is six. So that's basically it. One more time. I'm going to show you. As a back flip, and if you want another tutorial for anything else like a front flip, I will work on that so I can show you. Um, then, if you want to see some more back flips, some round off, some round off back flips, uh, some standing back flips in the in the grass. This is just for like trampolines and stuff. I know that this is a couch and it's not a, a trampoline, even though it kind of is. Not really. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you want to see more of these t tutorials, leave a like. And I will try to make more of those. And I will see you guys later. Bye!